Yo, what's going on, and welcome back to some more Elden Ring. In the last one, we took on the boss in this room, which was the Red Wolf of Radagon. Um, and then after that, we proceeded out into this courtyard and did a whole bunch of stuff on the roofs of the building, which I think ended mainly in a dead end. Um, we did get a key for that one guy who was all the way at the beginning of Liernia in here. Um, I guess we don't need that merchant thing anymore because he left i don't know where he is he maybe made it to the academy maybe he didn't he didn't seem that capable so i'm not entirely sure uh, but anyways yeah we gave him the extra key that we found i don't know if there was another use for that extra key maybe we shouldn't have done that maybe there's someone in the future we could have given it to uh, but anyways we are now here and we're i think gonna start making more forward progress because i believe all that nonsense was a side area um, now, as we get started here, I remember that we have uh, gold seeds. So, it takes three now to increase. I think we have four currently. So, that should add that. So, yep, we wanted that. And then we got none of those, and we can't do this, right? So, it's going to take us another three again? Okay. Fair enough. I just want to check, make sure... Uh, yep, so we got one more right now. Uh, now, a uh, quick spoiler warning, because I had something spoiled for me um, that I've been trying to figure out for a while, and it's mainly about our stats. Now, if you look up at the top left, uh, under your stamina bar, you got all your buffs and debuffs, right? Now, when we equip, let's say, actually this thing will make it easiest to explain. When we equip this thing, you see we got a little red box with an up arrow next to it. And you see that for a long time, we've had a red box with a down arrow next to it. So I was like, do we have a health debuff? I don't really understand why we would have a health debuff. Now, I believe that I had it spoiled as to why we have a health debuff. Uh, I don't know this for a fact, but I believe so. Uh, now, if we look at our health right now, we're at 791 max health. Now, what I think is affecting it is this thing right here the baldekin's blessing that fia has been giving us while we have the blessing it seems to correlate with us having the health debuff now what does the blessing do why don't we go read the blessing exactly because i'm not entirely sure um favor bestowed by deathbed companion protection of a hidden temple in the guise of a bedchamber uses fp to temporarily boost poise so i think it actually does that um, the favor allows one to forget any aches and pains. In death, there is only peace, for in death, there can be no sensation. So let's look at our poise when we use it and see if it actually works. We got 33 poise at the moment. Now, interesting to note, the debuff did not go away. And we still only have 33 poise. So... It doesn't actually work <laughs> but um, it only lasted like five seconds what the heck I didn't even realize it was that bad um, and now we got 42 more HP so tiny spoiler I don't know what that means uh, story-wise but there's a little bit of a mechanic spoiler right there um, holding on to the blessing that she gives you does indeed hurt you so why don't we put the baldekin's blessing over here i think i don't want it on my bar anymore where is it i actually don't don't remember which of these menus it's in um thought it would be obvious but i didn't see it where is it? Oh, because we don't have it. Probably why. I'm going to take it off of this bar, at least. So there, that way it's not getting in our way. Uh, but yeah, so now we got a little bit more health, right? And like I said, I don't know what that means for the story. Um, as you saw there, I didn't realize that the buff didn't actually give you the poise like it says it's supposed to. Um, that's kind of interesting. Uh, I wonder what's up with Fia. Why, first of all, she's related to this whole knife print thing. Which is kind of weird. 
if if you think more about it now, it makes her a little bit more suspicious. Um, but also the fact that she's giving you a debuff, a permanent debuff as long as you hold it, and the supposed quote unquote buff it's supposed to give you when you use it doesn't actually work. <laughs> So that's interesting but anyways we're gonna continue on i mean it's it's not like it was that bad i'm it seemed to be that was the only effect of it that it lowered your health by like 40 which is not that bad um so we might get it more because we do you're pretty much forced to get it if you want to talk to her um but we'll probably end up getting it we just might use it right away instead of holding on to it and if we need to talk to her twice in a row, we can always just talk to her twice in a row. No big deal. So I'm looking over here. I'm seeing that maybe you could jump onto that railing and run up there. I don't know if that would, like, cheat you ahead a little bit. It seems like it would. But obviously, all the stuff for, like, 95% of the hidden paths the developers put in this game are intentional. It's very rarely that they accidentally put a connector that they didn't want you to be able to use. So we don't need to go up there. Let's start going this way. I'm ready to summon our guys, but we don't need to until we're ready to fight. But we have seen that there is a maiden... I forget what they're called. Patches called them something weird, but then we couldn't find patches anymore. So I don't remember what they're called, that thing. They're like Shredder Maidens or something, or like Blade Maidens. He called them something weird. But they're pretty much, the concept is that they're just an Iron Maiden, except they're an Automaton. Killed all of his own dudes. Uh oh. Oh, it doesn't actually grab them. Uh, you guys are gonna want to get out of there. All right. Well, they just took a lot of damage. Oh. Wait. I couldn't get. I don't know where you get the repost. Maybe it was on the back because I didn't. Usually, there's a glowing thing to indicate that there's a repost. Hey, dude. Okay. So the fact that they give you summons for this, though, tells me that there has to be more. A singular maiden is not difficult enough. But I mean, I guess there was a crab over there that we fought. We kill the sorcerer before he catches on. I think we're just in the business of killing everything here. Those guys will figure out how to kill that guy, hopefully. Okay, another big crab. Not that surprising, honestly. I didn't expect him to go for me there, actually. Alrighty. What's that noise? There's something up there, I think. So the question is, is, I think we keep pushing forward just a little bit before I try and jump onto that side bridge. Just because I feel like maybe our soldiers will commit suicide if I do that. Which I still, I should test. Maybe now's a good time to test this. 
What? How does unsummoning them work? Because in the past, I feel like we haven't been able to resummon them. I think you can't resummon them if they die. But if they don't die, can you resummon them? I'm not sure. We have an extra flask. So we know that there's a big crab over there. It seems like there's no other path. Like this is an Anor Orlando situation where you have to go this way. Okay, hold up, let's test this then. And now they can no longer be summoned. Okay. Probably shouldn't have done that then. So can you only summon I thought it I thought the instructions said you could only summon one spirit at a time. I didn't think it said anything about only being allowed to summon one spirit a life. I don't think it said anything like that, so I'm a little curious. Okay. You could have taken either of these. And I mean, our guys do teleport. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> I thought maybe we could sneak on by. Take a rest here and heal up. It like bounces a lot. No. Oh, it comes from up there. Is it coming out of like a portal of some sort? Okay, that was oddly enough safe. I don't know if this is a good spot. Okay, it was good enough. <laughs> Alright. We can't get up there at the moment, but... It's kind of a Sen's, for Sen's Fortress type of deal, huh? A door, possibly openable. Cannot open from the side. Alright, I thought that might lead us back into the courtyard. Apparently not. Teleporter. You think? Where does this point? South. That's not where I want to... Maybe? Maybe it'll take us up here? Where I've been trying to get to for freaking ages? i trying to solve that mystery of not knowing how to get up on top of that mountain? Uh, let's mark you. With the little walkie symbol. Now again, marking things in buildings is kind of like... Not that great because... Don't know what floor it's on. Don't really know how to get there while just looking at the map. So you gotta keep it in mind, but maybe the marker will just remind me of where it was. Hello, sir. Moongrum Karian Knight. Okay, you are... You have my sword. I don't have your shield, but I have everything else. Oh, he does magic damage. Okay! He parried me, huh? <laughs> I was not ready to get parried. You know, I was looking at his shield, I was like, that shield doesn't have parry. Probably, I mean, I've never seen that shield before, but... That was just like my first thought when I saw said shield. I told myself it couldn't parry. That was a lie. Now, would I have probably just swung into him anyways, even if it, I did think he could parry? Yeah, probably. Not gonna lie to you. So is the maiden permanently dead here? No. It's not. But we can kind of just sneak by. Where was the safe spot? All right.
right here, that pillar. We can remember that. That's not that hard to remember. Alright, so the question is, do I want to go through the teleport or do I want to fight this guy? Let's take the teleport. I mean, we'll fight that guy, don't you worry. Um, but I'm not sure I'm going to beat him in one attempt. Mostly because he one-shot me with the robots. <laughs> and I realized that his sword does magic damage, or like 50% magic damage, so our shield only blocks the physical part and only blocks a portion of the magic part. Which it makes us a little bit weaker, but we could still maybe get some guard counters in and stuff. Okay, where? What? Wait, hold up. So it took us the exact opposite. No, it was pointing south, but it took us east. Church of Bow. Wait, 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 oh, we could request absolution here. I remember that. There's a giant turtle. You are tarnished, aren't you? I welcome you to the Church of Vows. I am Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimony. Wait, we actually between know Lady most of this. And Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses. The Earth Tree of the Capitol, and the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Hold up, before we talk to him more, uh, we actually kind of knew that. I don't remember if it said that it happened at the Church of Vows or not, but this crossbow here told us that. Made to celebrate the matrimonial union and reconciliation between the houses. Uh, it did not say it happened at the Church of Vows, so we couldn't have known that it happened at the Church of Vows. Oh, was there something you needed? You are free to show yourself around. I would serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to be. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. What a nice Unless, guy. perhaps you are in search of instruction, in which case I will share all that I know. Man, this turtle's great, what the heck? He has incantations and sorceries. We could give him the celestial dew. I don't really need that though. You wish to know more of Lord Radigan. Lord Radigan was a great champion, possessed of flowing red locks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there, and became husband to the Carian Queen. However, when Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Erdtree capital, becoming Queen Marika's second husband and King Consort, taking the title of second Elden Lord. The mystery endures to this day as to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord. Interesting. Uh, I have a feeling that if we click this, it's going to say you're not in need of uh, absolution. Do you possess any celestial dew? Then I would like to share my knowledge with you. Concerning the miracle of this Church of Vows, Radigan once cleansed himself with celestial dew repented his territorial aggressions, and swore his love to Renala. The order of the Erdry and the fate of the moon were conjoined, and all the wounds of war forgiven. This miracle blesses the church to this day, and so you need only follow Radigan's example 
to restore any bond, however strained or severed, to its rightful state of harmony. Oh, we can also just talk. Wait, what happened to the thing about Renala? God. I should have just My kept on that chain. does not waver. The miracle rooted in these grounds will once again mend the world. And this time, its bounty will not be squandered. If you would be Elden Lord, tarnished, I hope that you too will share my faith. Okay, there's the thing about Renala again. Is this new? You no, know, it's said that Lord Radigan harbored a secret. A famed sculptor of the Earth Tree capital was once summoned to render Lord Radigan's likeness in giant stature when he glimpsed the skeleton in Radigan's closet. And as such, it's said the great statue harbors his secret too. There's a great statue? You wish to know more of Lady Renala. She is queen, head of the Karian royal family, and governor of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, the great and beautiful Full Moon Witch. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her, and then... When the Academy rebelled against the Royals, she was locked away in the Grand Library. In the end, Lady Renala was left alone, cradling the amber egg Lord Radigan bequeathed her. Now she devotes herself to it through forbidden rite, the grim art of reincarnation. You would do well to remember, severing a vow, strongest of bonds, has consequences ever more dire. Mm. To experience the miracle, kneel in the basin at the back and cleanse yourself with celestial dew. Absolution will be yours. Any bond, no matter how strained or even severed, will be put to rights. To experience the mirror. Absolution. Okay, he just says that's the repeatable you know, one. It's said that Lord Radigan harbored a famed sculptor when he glimpsed the and as such. Okay, but do we know where this uh statue is? Forms a sweeping slash glint blade. Creates a sigil that forms a projectile glint blade after a delay. I feel like I've seen this. I think this is what the sorcerer starts with. And he has Blessings Boon. Grants blessing to self and nearby allies. Grants a blessing to the cast of gradually restoring HP. Hold to continue praying and delay activation. Why would... Interesting, but why? Blessing once fell like tears from the Erd Tree and this incantation, but a lingering remnant of their power. Is there some... Oh, Turtle Dude seems cool. Although he seems like... Um, I'm not gonna do this. He seems like the kind of NPC that maybe has a very special drop if you kill him. Or it's just that hat. Could just be the hat. Very possible. Maybe the hat is special though. Yeah, we don't need to atone because we haven't sinned at all. The chest here. He said we could take anything we wanted. Gold sewing needle and gold tailoring tools. You think we give the gold one to Bach? Sewing needle made of gold, unique item made to alter demigod attire. One of the tools brought by Radagon when he entered into marriage with Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, and joined the Carrion Line. Tailoring tools made from gold, tools brought with the red-haired Radagon when he married into the Carrion line. With these, even demigod attire can be altered at a site of grace. We haven't found a site of grace here, actually, now that I think about it. Probably search for that. So I would like to be able to come back here if needed. Turtle guy seems pretty cool. Where would you put 
Oh, it's just in this over here somewhere. Okay, goat. Here it is. So I want to look at what that means, though. Ooh, we can now alter the carry and knight stuff, which we're actually wearing. It would get lighter. Altered seems weird. I guess altered is just if you really like the set, um, but it's too heavy for you. Like it doesn't, your build needs to be at a, at a certain threshold, but you can't get there with the set. Then you alter it to lower its stats, but probably still look the same. But it only seems to work for some things so far as we've found. What's going on here anyways? Where the heck are we? Uh, we're not going to explore right now, but I'm going to run over to the sword. Just read what it has to say. The second Lyurnian War. No victory for the golden, nor for the moon. No prize but atonement. The birth of a vow. Okay. Very interesting. Alright, we no longer need the walking man. Um, I want to go to Bach before he moves, because I don't know how Bach works with where he goes to. I assume just at some point he'll stay at a certain side of grace, or he'll come to the round table, but I don't see why he would be invited to the round table, because he's not a tarnished. He's no longer here. Oh, there he is. Forgot NPCs take a second to lo load in. Can I not give you the golden sewing needle? Oh, he just gets it automatically? Seems like he just gets it. I think it's the exact same as the alterations we could make. Oh, wait, does it actually change it though? It gets rid of the cape. Can you unalter something? going so soon that uh, please do be safe on your journeys I think I liked it more with the cape on oh, ready to make a just oh you can't do simple view from there oh yeah I mean so please it doesn't look that safe. great either way honestly I'd I'd be looking to replace this but so did we give him the needle? Because it didn't say anywhere that we gave it to him. No, we still just have it. I must just enable it. Um, anyways, let's get back into the castle, and this time we actually gotta fight that dude. Uh, we wanna go to the parlor, the debate parlor. Okay. We actually gotta beat him. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get parried again, I know it. I think we should just block counter him, honestly, even though it hurts a little bit. If we put on our heal over time, and block counter. Because we can't summon our dudes to help us there. It's just one of those classic fights in this game where it's a completely fair fight, and he's gonna kick your butt because it's fair. Can I make it to this pillar fast? Yes. Alright, that simplifies it. Don't gotta wait around a whole lot. And there was nothing else here. I mean, we checked the ledge and stuff. I just want to make sure. I hope there's not a thing with these teleporters where you can go in on like either side and it takes you to different places. Alright, 
right, with the healing over time, we should be able to... Whoa, he's just swinging? Get reposted, you jerk. He can't parry while well, he has his... Oh. Staff out. Okay, fair enough. This is bad. Okay, we're good. That's how we get the shield. How good is shield, by the way? It's got less stability than ours. It's kind of just worse in every way, except for the 3% extra magic you get out of it. So I, I, I'm still liking our shield. Also, I probably should have tried to parry him, but... I'm, I'm really bad about parrying. There's only, like, certain enemies I ever parry, and that was, like, Silver Knights and Dark Souls 1. And I guess Dark Souls 3, because they were very similar. And Gwyn. You can parry Gwyn. You can parry Pontiff's first attack in Dark Souls 3. It's pretty simple. I know a lot of, like, the simple parries. Some weird noises going on, by the way. gonna unlock a shortcut for us. Oh, it's that thing. It's a ladder in there. Oh, you could jump this. Very feasible. Is this a shortcut? Hmm, now we could go this way. Alright, alright. That simplifies that, but it still just takes us into the room with that dude. And I'm not sure if he respawns. It seems like he might respawn, but he might not. There's a Trina's Lily over here. Okay, let's jump this. That'll take us into the room that we couldn't open, I believe. That was a little extra glitch there. We go ladder first? I think ladder... No, the door should be here. Yeah. I was like trying to think of where the shortcut door should be. It should be right here. Okay, so now we can get there easily again. Perfect. Perfect. Now we got all kinds of shortcuts. Pumpkin head man. You could make that jump. But I don't know if you could then get around the corner. I don't know if that would serve a purpose. So what's the strat here? 
I feel like murder the sorcerer is the strat. Oh, there was another sorcerer. That's unfortunate. Alright, pumpkin head man. Unfortunate. Ouch. Whoa, there's Sparky. I could just do this over and over. Ow, really? That guy actually is turning the corner slowly. Alright, it's Lane. Did you leave me alone? Jeez. I forgot that. I think since the last time we fought those guys, we upgraded our sword. Now we can actually free shot them. Why is this room all. Oh, this is uh, the boulder room. Flintstone scarab. I think that's just going to be for sorceries. Reduce the cost of sorceries, but increase the damage taken. Yep. So, is there any way... Like, is this off now? It doesn't seem like it's off. I feel like once we reload, it's just going to be going again, which is whatever. Hmm. Room 7. Crazy. So I think that's, that's it for that area. It may or may not have turned that off. Didn't seem like there was a whole lot of point to that, though. Because now it just takes us back here. I don't think I missed anything. Unless there was an illusory wall, like, right under that, that I didn't check for. I think it would be right there, and therefore... Wouldn't be relevant. So, let's carry on forward. So we got all the shortcuts that lead us straight back to here. But maybe we'll just find a checkpoint in a second. I feel like sometimes this game is bad about that. Like, it gives you a shortcut. But I guess it's the shortcut is specifically for that one enemy, kind of. It's designed for if you keep dying to that one guy, you can run past him, get a shortcut. That gets you to him faster. But it doesn't take that long to get to him anyways, so... This is a bad room, because you know I'm going to check every single wall. going on here are we finally at the boss seems very bossy Should we send this back down probably let's get ready for a fight There's a summons available in here. They did say she was in the Grand Library, right? This seems like a Grand Library if I've ever seen one. Uh, we don't have our flasks and stuff, but I'll do it. Okay, boss fight. With a cutscene.
little Calver. I'll soon birth thee anew, a sweeting, fresh and pure. All right. So she's lost her marbles. Ouch. Oh, they dropped a chandelier on me? Was not ready for that. So is the strat here to clear out all the enemies first, or...? That's what I'm doing at the moment. What does that do? Oh! Okay, just get rid of that because I don't know what it does and it was glowing. I wonder how my guys are doing. I mean, they're good on health, so they must be doing okay. Whoa! Is this like... It's a glowing thing. Oh my gosh, that chandelier. I'm trying to find like specific enemies that we have to kill, but I'm not seeing anything. Oh! Chandeliers? There's a lot of chandeliers in this room. Are these guys coming back? I feel like I cleared all the outside. Oh, can you stop throwing books at me, please? Three books in a row, huh? Oh, oh, the golden glowing ones break the barrier. Oh, the barrier's broken. DPS? Dodged it. They all respawn, huh? Okay, well she definitely has a grasp on this whole reincarnation thing, it seems like. Oh, hello. We're back. I need it to find a golden one. So we're just looking for the golden one. It seems like the chandeliers respawn. I refuse to believe that there are this many chandeliers. Where is a golden one? Well, you just killed your own people. I hear it. They sing. They sing. Gotta find the singing ones. It's far away. Very far away. Okay, it's very hard to hear anything. Oh, there it is. Is that enough? Is her thing broken? No, we need one more. Oh, our guy did it. Good job. Is that enough? Are you broken? Oh, this is a DPS phase if I've ever seen one. We were there right on time. Okay. I mean, that was good. Oh, just don't die. <laughs> no! What a thing to die to. The only thing in that room that could do enough damage to kill me. Chandelier lands on my head and kills me. I was right about to stop and heal. Now we know, you know, don't heal. Um, 
in the the little walkways in between the bookshelves because that's where chandeliers are you'll instead in the middle of the room which is kind of contrary to what you normally want to do right but that's how it's going to be for this fight hello hello please do not hit me Okay, this guy does not respawn, that's great news. I'm surprised there's not a stake for this. It seems like Limgrave was very generous with like stakes and stuff, and now they're like, yeah, um, we're back to normal boss runs, honestly. Alright, so now we got the idea of the fight. Oh, I already see the singing one. It's a chest. Cannot open during the fight. Alright, fair enough. I guess there's no real reason to kill them, huh? I'm just trying to get my souls back here. There, here they are. Pop the potion before this just because of her increased stamina regen. Oh, I'm, I'm an idiot. Should have done that a little bit better. Oh. There it is. So it seems like the one that throws the books is. So wherever the books are coming from. Oh, she's already done? I guess our teammate got one of them? So I think three DPS phases is reasonable. Ow. Oh, they got it again. Nice. Where is it? Back there. I see it. Okay, this is pretty straightforward once you figure out what's going on here. Although, once they start hiding like this... Oh! Hello! Was that it? No, that was not it. There you are. Ranala, Queen of the Full Moon. Is that it? She might come back, actually. That scene tells me that she comes back. Hello? Ah, oh, my beloved. Have no fear. I will hold thee. Patience. Ye will be countless born. Forever and ever. That was a really annoying phase one, by the way, if you had to do that every single time. Upon my name is Rani the Witch. Ooh! Mother's rich slumber shall not be disturbed by thee. Foul trespasser. Send word far and wide. This is uh, Rena, right? Queen of Caria. Renala of the full moon. I think Ronnie and, and Rena are the same. She conjureth. What are you talking about, by the way? 
What on earth? Oh, yep, that looked like it was gonna be a Hadouken. That makes a lot of sense. Did one of my guys die in that last fight? Oh. We should probably switch to the katana for this nonsense, huh? Oh, that was a weird move. Oh, sir, you stole my repast. That didn't deal damage, huh? Just rush her. <laughs> Remembrance of the Full Moon Queen. Great Rune of the Unborn. See, I, I'm pretty sure Ronnie and Rena are the same. So they're the daughter of Renala, which makes sense. They have very Where similar names. Where did he flee, my sweetings? Come out from whence ye hide. There are books and light aplenty, did or not? Come out, say I, or will ye be gravestones to be better born anew? I guess it makes sense we don't have to kill her, right? Because uh, her Elden powers, she doesn't actually, she's not an Elden Lord, but the stone that she has uh, was from an Elden Lord. Ah, <sighs> thou... Is it thy wish to be born anew? Was this respect? To become a sweeting, reborn of my beloved egg. Cosmetics, what is this? But can't we already do this? At the... In the base? At the mirror? Yeah. And then what about rebirth? Use a larval tear. Okay, so be not alarmed, nor afeared. I would birth thee as a sweeting, fair and fine. I also noticed that we have forty-eight thousand runes at the moment. I feel like that chest might teleport me, so I'm gonna use my runes first. How many of these larval tears do we have? By the way. Just one. Did it always say material needed by Renala to grant rebirth? Or did it say something different before? Because I feel like that would give it away, right? If it said that before. Anyways, let's let's use our runes here. No Melina to talk to. Am I just going like, how much more do we need? We need 800, 1,800. I think I'm just gonna go three HP levels. Cause I don't know what else to do right now. As I said, we're just looking for, wait, hold on. I'm being dumb. We should check what the soul gives us. Locked. Oh, this is also a non combat zone. Um, we should check what the soul that we just got gives us, weapon wise. Actually, we don't need this if we do this. Oh, we still need that. I lied. Can't see anything. You go in here? No. But yeah, we should see what weapon that soul gives us, because it's probably going to be int related. And then, why do it. This. 
Okay, it wasn't anything, but I felt like it was. And then if we like the weapon or one of the things, then we might know what skills we need to level up to actually use it. Genius, really. Who is this? Is this Radagon? Or who was who it? Was it Radagon? I don't remember. Which of the R named guys? I think it was Radagon. That was sweet. Have we gone all the way around yet? I don't think so. This is a big circular room. This is where we came from. That was a cool fight, for what it's worth. Good way to do the... the uh, mob boss. But, I don't know if you have to do the mob boss every single time. I could definitely find it annoying to have to do the mob boss every single time. And then phase two wasn't that difficult until she summoned the dragon, but she didn't summon it till like 10% of her health left. So I just, I was just like, all right, I'm just going to hit you as quickly as possible and hope that I can kill you before um, that dragon does anything scary. So just back to the round table. So that's where we could see what the soul does. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see uh, Ronnie ever. Ah, you appear to be well, then. So this was the guy who said he was gonna leave, right? But he didn't leave, golden... even after us making a little bit of progress. But Diallo's is gone, which is odd. Uh, we want this lady. So we should check everyone's quests right now because we just killed one of the big bosses. I had my doubt. My, look at you. Only once before have I seen two great runes together. Look there. The fingers shudder with exuberance. Fine work, brave tarnished. The greater will is pleased. You have earned the right to become Elden Lord. Now. Seek the Erd Tree, and an audience with Queen Marika, to become Elden Lord, and restore the Golden Order. The Fingers expect as much from you as they do, young Gideon. Take this, a token of farewell. Ah, oh, yes, another talisman pouch. Go forth. Oh, that's good. Become Elden Lord. <sighs> okay, let's look at this first. So, what do we got here? We got the Carrion Regal Scepter, which looks a lot like that weapon that we saw in that fireplace. It's just a casting thing, requires 60 int. Boosts full moon sorceries. Nay. You go down there? Nope, you could not see that one. Okay. Magic Scepter of Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. The Glint Stone is known as the Carrion Blue, enhancing full moon sorceries. Only those of the highest intelligence may wield the finest of all Glintstone stabs. Staves? I don't know how you're supposed to say that word. She, she, yeah, she had the spinning thing. What's this? Incarnate a full moon and launch it at foes. What does it require? 70 int? Jesus. Uses the caster, or sorcery associated with the Carrion Queen. Uses the caster as a vessel to incarnate a full moon, then sends it floating towards foes. The full moon dispels all sorcery that it touches and temporarily reduces magic damage negation for those it strikes. Queen Renala encountered this enchanting moon when she was young, and later it would bewitch the academy. So this is like anti-sorcery magic, huh? That's pretty cool. But I don't think we need either of those things. 
Ooh, we can buy her stuff. Tall crown worn by Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, increases intelligence. Ooh. When Renala, head of both the Academy of Rhea Lucaria and the Karian royal family, lost her husband Radagon, her heart went along with him, and then those at the Academy realized that Renala was no champion after all. So this does not increase um, the, the int. I don't know if we want to buy this set. We might want the hat because it seems like free intelligence. It's expensive, but I wonder how much it increases it. And it seems to have no downside. Queen Marika is the vessel of the Elden Ring, carrier of its vision. A god in truth. But after the Elden Ring's shattering, she was imprisoned in the Erd Tree. A grim punishment for shattering the Order. Despite her godhood, Speak. Malika's trespass demanded a heavy sentence. But even in shackles, she remains a god and the vision's vessel. Confer great rules to become Elden Lord and join Queen Malika as her consort. The fingers have willed it so. Now you may go. Now, complete the work. Can't interact with the fingers at all. All right, hold on. Where's this hat at? Gives it gives three intelligence. We're gonna lose some stats though. How much are we losing? Got six boys at the moment. Lots of physical stats, but we'll gain in everything else. I mean, I think it's worth it. It'll just make our sword hit a little bit harder for very little cost. Kind of weird looking, though. I forgot that our character looks kind of weird. Maybe we should keep a helmet on. <laughs> Uh, so what was the other talisman that we wanted for sure? That's death resist. Was it this one? Raises the potency of sorceries. That's probably not it. That talisman. I guess we probably want this, huh? More stamina. Uh, more HP and more equip load. Okay, let's go talk to everyone. Oh, I wish you go to Rajier. Otherwise, I'll forget about him. Always good to sun. Nothing. All right. Greetings. Are you here for spirit? So can't level up our guys at all. Well. I took you no matter it. Lay out your arm. Only have one of those stones, so I think we were not gonna do that right now. Wait, can I put this on here? I can. We go talk to Fia. Even though we probably don't really want her blessing very much. 
now that we've figured out its secrets. No, how could I father has now? Well, she's made no progress. Maybe we have to do something specific for her to make progress, but. I am pleased. Would you like me now? Okay, she doesn't have anything new. Um, can we just use that right away? Can we even use it in here? It does give us a buff up there. But I just don't think the buff works. Alright, what does Gideon have to say? Well, wonderful. You are a worthy fellow tarnished indeed. Make the journey to the capital. Landell, that lies to the east of the Altus Plateau, at the foot of the Erd Tree. The Two Fingers will deny your passage no longer. You may be our best hope. Find your way to the Elden Ring, for we are tarnished. And we must answer the call of grace. You want to know who he kind of sounded like in that, that little voice line there? He sounded like, um... Dark Souls 1, the Chaos Skeleton Blacksmith, who has his voice like super distorted. Sounded like that. Do we need to learn about any of this? The Academy of Renala is Where'd he be here? I don't think so. Wait, so you could just finish the game with two runes? Is that right? You don't need more runes than that? Probably get levels first. We didn't really find a weapon that we want. Um, I do want to check out what the new Great Rune does. Oh, we have to unlock it. Forgot about that. Where would the... So this was like there, so this one must be here, would be my best guess. I mean, it could be anywhere, it could be like here, it could be, I guess it maybe could be there, but it's probably not. So why is this map all still locked? Seems like weird that it goes down here, even though we already have this. Oh well. I think we still got a lot of stuff to explore. So what exactly are we doing next? So there's a lot of stuff we could do. What did we miss? Go back and fight those guys, but we already beat other guys, and I don't think there's any reward for that. We'd have to pull out a Morning Star. We still don't know how to get up here, which is frustrating me beyond no end. We have two of the things for the four belfries. Two of the imbued keys. Kind of want to go here and do the knife print thing. And I would also like to go unlock the rune, if possible. And we could always go help Alexander, and we could always go down here. Got a lot of stuff. Dang. I don't know which one's best to do. Also, I'm kind of upset. Like, 
Where is Rena? In all this. Like, she appeared for the boss fight, but I don't know... Was that actually her? Or was... Like, was this phase two, was that Rena as, like, an illusion of Renala? Or how was that working out? I didn't really understand. And where did she go? Art thou now? Be not alone. I would burn. I really should do new cosmetics, but I don't know how to fix my face. My face is kind of flat-ish. Not that bad. Um. But, yeah, I don't know how to find Rena or Ronnie, whatever you want to call her. I feel like her quest has something to do with this chest. I can't do anything with the statue, huh? Let's go outside real quick. We never did find that one guy who we gave a key for, huh? I mean, there are just some things I want to check, but I honestly should just give myself HP with the these runes. Because I don't think I'm going to do anything else right now. And we'll get more runes. I mean, that boss gave us like 40,000 runes, right? Now we're at 800 HP. But we actually have more than that, right? Yeah, we have 937 because we have two different HP buffs. So we actually have a pretty decent HP bar now. So I'm going to briefly go down. So I either want to try and find that one dude, or I want to try and find uh, Ronnie. Does this still drop rocks? Doesn't seem like it. Hmm. So, one of the things I want to check is I want to go here, see if maybe our friend that we gave the key to stopped here on his way and got mugged by this guy. Definitely seems like a possibility. Forgot that if you are at max equipment load, you can't roll at all. All right, mate. Was that a thing in the previous games? These prawns actually seem really good, depending on how good the damage negation is. I suppose it only works on certain fights, right? It's only physical. Probably don't need it either. So, we're going to run the outskirts of this real quick. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Let's mark the corners of it. Because I would like to go up there if possible, but it, it might be... It seems like it's a teleport area. And I think I will be su sufficiently confident in that if we run the outskirts of it one more time. It's like it just doesn't seem- Oh! Are you kidding me? wasn't even looking that direction. I just happened to be looking the other direction right as I walked up to a group of mobs.
And now it's nighttime. I'm not doing this at nighttime. I need to be able to see. Maybe it was already morning? I can't really tell. Morning sucks too. But... Pay attention this time, try not to die. I think there's one way in the poison swamp that we didn't exactly run to. get back there. Seems like the lowest spot. It doesn't seem viable. Uh oh. Are you... <laughs> so mad now. That's actually a fatal fall? That's so stupid. I don't want to leave those 9,000 runes because it's like half a level up right now. Can't believe we've died twice doing something so simple. So what else? We should probably go talk to Kale. See if he's got anything new for us. Um, I don't know if we can find Wolfman anymore. Because last time he was a Darawil, and he said he was going to move forward to another blacksmith. Or, he told us to mention his name to a blacksmith. I don't remember, I think that blacksmith was supposed to be here. We haven't seen any blacksmiths, so... Um, other NPCs, we got our Sorceress Trainer. Um, but we go talk to her all the time, but maybe she'll say something if we beat Renala. That seems actually valid. So Kale and Sorceress Trainer Lady. And I wonder if we can just climb this rock. Like, it doesn't look possible. What if we just try it anyways? Oh, is there more of these guys over here? First we gotta find, like, a way to get us started. This, I guess? That doesn't seem like it's gonna get us started. Kidding me? That's death. Oh, never mind. It's not lucky. Yeah, it just doesn't seem possible, honestly. We've been here. Yeah, because we got the side of grace. Stone. This is like the part of the poison swamp that we didn't really go to. We've been up there.
Then we've been there. That's a crab. where those crystallians were? Yes, yes it is. Doesn't look like there's a way up. That's not gonna get us up, I don't think. No, I don't think that's actually very climbable. Hmm. Alright, I think we can sufficiently say that I don't know how to get up there. And it doesn't seem to be a path, but I could be mistaken. So what's going to be our goal then? Uh, we got to explore this road next. And then hopefully go this way sometime soon. Oh, someone died. Yeah, hopefully go that way sometime soon, because I think that's where the other great rune is going to be. Or the unlocking the great rune. And then maybe that'll take us up here. So that seems like a good strat. We might start at this place, go all the way down, and then come back up. And then, of course, we got some other stuff to explore up here. Got this whole north area to do, but I think we start with that. I'll take us there, but we're not going to do that right... Oh, I... we should go start talk to the NPCs first. Talk to the NPCs, then we'll come back here, then we'll end, and we'll be back here in the next one. NPCs first calling. Ah, always a pleasure. Okay, he's got nothing to say, Goodbye. but hold up. We met Renny or Rena at nighttime, right? Let's try that real quick. Just in case it's relevant. Doesn't seem like it though. No. Alright. Um and then our sorceress trainer. You are. Shall we commence the Got nothing to say about the fact that I'd be Renala? Alright. So, okay. Well, next time we will be starting from here, this Gate Town Bridge. Uh, we'll go down, then up. And we'll see how far that actually gets us. Hopefully we can unlock the Great Rune next time. Oh, there's another balloon over here. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.